if we have an angle measured in radians, the arc length, the part of the arc on the circle for that angle is going to be S times R, or S or R times theta, I should say. So my arc length is S. I'm going to multiply it by the radius times my angle in radians. That's the key. Your angle must be in radians. Otherwise, we'd have to do the conversion factor. So let's take a look at a problem here. On example five, it says a stern wheel on a monster truck has a radius of 11 inches. How far does a point on the stern wheel travel if it makes four-fifths of a rotation? Well, we know one rotation going all the way across around that's 360 degrees, or it's 2 pi radians. So if I'm going to do 4 fifths of a rotation, I'm going to take 4 fifths of 2 pi. So this would be the angle in radians. And notice nothing reduces here, so I get 8 pi over 5. Now to find the distance that goes through, we know from what we just did on the previous page, S equals R theta. Well, in this case, my R is 11, and my theta is 8 pi over 5. And once again, I notice that doesn't reduce, so I get my exact answer is 88 pi over 5 centimeters, or not centimeters, inches. And we're usually going to round that. Because usually when I say, how far does something turn? We don't usually say multiples of pi, 88 pi over 5. So now let's use our calculator. And let's just take 88 pi divided by 5. So I go 88 pi and I divide by 5. I get about 55 inches. And don't I, maybe 55.3 inches, we'll say. So 55.3 inches is how far that object turns.